Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hope you guys are doing well. I am posting this video just a little bit early because I don't want to post it right before football games start, start tomorrow morning. Normally I would post this video on the first of the month, but I don't want to post it during the NFL action. I don't want to post it right before the NFL action starts. So I'm just going to go ahead and post it now the day before and I mean it's the same difference for the most part. So um that's the end of December. Today is the final day of December. Uh, by the time most people watch this video, it'll just be a handful of hours before we get to 2023. So not only are we putting the month of December in our rear view mirror, we are putting the entire year in our rear view mirror. And it was a awesome year for me uh, on the internet running this channel. Uh, it was an awesome month. I mean, it, it's been a pretty crazy the way things have gone on this channel over the last, I'd say, this season, since this season started, the rate at which the channel has just blown up and grown, it, it's been beyond what I ever expected was going to happen on this channel, because I've said this before, but I posted videos on this channel for uh, four or five years with very little viewership, very few people watching the videos, very little attention, really, really none at all. I would post a video every few months maybe that would go viral and it would get like 3,000 views and that was a huge deal. I was like, I can't believe 3,000 people watch this video. And now most of the videos I post, even the slow ones are getting to 1,000 at minimum and the the game videos, the, the, the actual like post-game, pre-game videos are breaking 5,000, 6,000 at minimum. So it's been a crazy year for me. Um... I believe that by the time we get to the end of today, I'll be just past 11,400 subscribers. So that's a, a pretty solid month. We saw about 400 new subs come in. We picked up a few new members and it, it was a great month. It was a great month. The channel grew. Um, things did not grow as much as they could have because I went on vacation. And when I was on vacation, I was only posting a couple videos a day. There were a couple days where I only did like one video. And then when I got back from vacation, I got sick. I was still grinding out videos, but um, there were a couple days where there was only like one video. There might have been a day when there wasn't any. But um, after that, I was on vacation still. I wasn't working, so I was able to do more videos than I typically did, and that helped make up for it a little bit. So overall, still an awesome <coughs> month for the YouTube channel. And obviously, we're hitting a big crossroads for this YouTube channel tomorrow afternoon with the Seahawks game. If the Seahawks win, then we'll kind of know that we're in playoff mode for at least another week. And if we win tomorrow, there's actually a pretty, I, I'd call it a decent chance, a solid chance, probably a, we'll see how the other games go, but it's probably going to be around 50, 55% chance of the Seahawks making the playoffs. And obviously if they do that, then we're going to be kind of invested in this season for another couple weeks. Um, we're probably going to play the Vikings. If we do play the Vikings, then that's going to be a game where regardless of how things have gone at the end of the year here, I'm going to be kind of anticipating that we're at least going to make it a good game because the Vikings are unable, unable to blow out anybody. So um, if, if that happens tomorrow afternoon and we beat the Jets and we're looking good for the playoffs, then obviously we're going to be locked in on playoff stuff for a couple of weeks here. If we lose to the Jets, it's pretty much over, and even though there will be one game left, I think people are going to tune out for the most part, and most of our attention is going to be focused on off-season stuff. Uh, people are going to be interested in free agency stuff. So once the season ends one way or the other, if it ends tomorrow, if it ends next week, if it ends in two weeks, if it ends after that even then you will definitely see me start to open the can of free agency. I'm going to talk about the Seahawks um, outgoing free agents. I'm going to talk about the free agents the team should target when uh, the free agency period opens up in, I believe it's March. Obviously, you're going to have to get through the playoffs before you can really think about that stuff that much, but we can start opening the box on it. So that that would be what you can anticipate. I've had a couple comments lately asking, you should make more videos about free agency because... Free agency is before the draft, and I'm already making some draft videos, 
and that makes sense. Believe me, the free agency videos are coming. The issue with free agency videos is sometimes you start talking about a player and then the team that the player is currently on just suddenly re-ups him. That, that help happened with uh, Elgton Jenkins, where I was talking about him as a potential target all year, really, and the Packers uh, re-upped him, I believe, like a handful of days ago. So, yeah, we're going to um, definitely open the can on free agency once the season is over and we have an idea of who's actually going to be available. Me and the Hawks Nest are definitely going to do collaboration streams throughout the offseason about free agency until we get there. Um, I don't know if we're going to do two shows a week or just one show a week like we've been doing during the season. We'll, we'll have to see about that. But um, there will definitely be more collaboration streams. So... We're just going to have to see what the Seahawks actually do this week and next week. Are they going to be in the playoffs or not? Um, I think this Jets game is going to provide the crossroads where I go with my content from here on out. So that's the YouTube side of things. Looking forward to another great month in January. Obviously, once the season ends and this team is not playing games, things will slow down until free agency, and then things slow down again until the draft. But I'm still going to be churning stuff out. I'm going to try to do daily uploads. You you guys know that I like to try to get at least one video out there a day. And I'm going to continue to try to keep that up even in a month like February where nothing is really going on unless your team is in the Super Bowl. Uh, real quick, I want to talk about Twitch as well. It was a good month on Twitch. I kind of took a week off from Twitch in the middle of December, admittedly, just because I was sick and I was on vacation and I was nowhere near my game systems, nowhere near my computer. But um, we still were able to get through uh, games like Hello Neighbor. We're getting through Judgment. I believe I'm going to beat it later tonight. So I'm going to have it beat before the start of the new year. So that'll be a game I got through th in the uh, month of December. Um, I started Lego Star Wars. I did some Dead by Daylight. So we were doing good stuff on Twitch. Uh, the channel continues to grow. I want to give a special shout out to uh, one of my followers on uh, Twitch, DTERP2 who actually gifted 10 subs near the end of the month. And on my Twitch, I usually only have a handful of subs at any given time. Like, it's usually somewhere between, like, 5 and 7 subs. So 10 gifted subs is a big deal. Shout out to him. That's a big deal on a channel like that because it is a smaller channel. So we did see some really cool stuff over there. Um, 2022 was obviously the year I made the switch from YouTube to Twitch as my video game streaming place. And I, I gotta say, overall, I don't think the viewership changed all that much. I still, whenever I was streaming a game that was germane to people's interests, like when I did MOB The Show back when it first came out, I remember that first stream had like 30 people because people were really interested in that game. People were really interested to see me play that game. And there have been other streams where, you know, we've gotten up close to like 20 people in there. And we have plenty of streams that get up around 10 or 12 people which is consistent with what I saw on YouTube whenever I did video game streams because most people didn't turn out for those because it had nothing to do with the Seahawks. So we've definitely built up to a place now where the attendance of my Twitch streams on, on video games is basically what it was on YouTube. So that transition has proven to be a successful one. The people who care at all about the video game stuff have followed over and it's been great. And I've been able to get through a few games here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing the Twitch thing because of some things behind the scenes there. But for the moment, I'm going to stick it out. And I got to say, I think things are going well. So I've been excited about that. I've been excited about the way that's been going. And again, it was a, it was a really good month on Twitch. Shout out again to DTERP2. Uh, in the month of January, I can say that we're going to be finishing a Crisis Core. Uh, we're going to be probably powering through Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. That's my co-op game that I'm playing right now with my friend. So we're probably going to get through that. It's not a terribly long game as long as you focus on the main stuff. So there's going to be a lot more Lego Star Wars for the rest of this month. Uh, we're going to finish Crisis Core. It's not a very long game. I plan on probably beating it mid-January. And what I can say, plans on Twitch in January involve my first ever full playthrough of a 3D Zelda game. So if that interests you at all, head over there, give it a follow, and you will see me play Breath of the Wild. At some point this month, should be seeing me play Breath of the Wild. I'm excited. Never played a 3D Zelda game in full before. 
So it's going to be a different, interesting experience. I'm excited for it. Uh, I can't wait to see what I think. So there's going to be that. I might do Horizon Forbidden West as well. It's been sitting on my shelf for a couple months here. I'm ready to go with it. So Horizon uh, Forbidden West is also on the docket. And once I'm done with the Crisis Core, I don't know what I'm going to do on Steam. I'm lo maybe looking for suggestions. Maybe I'm going to do Far Cry 4. I've been sitting on that one forever. I played Far Cry 5 before I've played Far Cry 4. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do some Doom. Uh, Resurrection of Evil is sitting there. I still haven't gotten to that one yet. There's uh, Doom Eternal, which I haven't gotten to yet. So there's some cool stuff I can do. Also, I am making a concerted effort to post more on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, now would be a great time to do so. Um, I'm, I'm trying to tweet more. I'm trying to tweet more as thoughts come to me uh, when I'm watching football games. I'm trying to tweet a little more on there when the Seahawks are playing, if I have any thoughts about the way the game is going. And I'm getting an idea now because tw Twitter added the uh, view counter. How many people are seeing my tweets when I tweet? It's actually more than I thought. So I'm like, okay, uh, maybe I should keep doing this. But uh, yeah, that's about it for plans for January. Uh, plans for 2023 in general. Um... I'm not going to speak that broadly about anything yet. I've upgraded most of the hardware that I needed to upgrade. I upgraded my face cam. My new face cam is here, a little bit better than the old one. Uh, so we upgraded the camera just actually a week ago, not even a week ago. Uh, we upgraded the uh, microphone a couple years ago, and I still have no problems with it. I got a new portable microphone, a lavalier microphone, so that's going to be an upgrade. Probably going to start using that in January, actually, so... Uh, broad strokes, I'm going to keep trying to improve the channel, I'm going to keep trying to improve the experience, but uh, I don't know big picture what the major changes in direction could be. But uh, yeah, great month, thank you everybody to help who helped make it happen, hopefully the next one is as good. See you guys later, go Hawks!